The paint can says to only apply with humidity at 80% or less. Right now, according to the weather service, we're at 74%. tell you what we believe out here. We believe that every guitar deserves to be played. Today we're reviving this neglected Ibanez Geo body. You see it back there? It's hanging in the painting tent. We're putting a new finish on it and finally it's time to get the color on. Dark blue pearl is our color and weather permitting we may get the matte overcoat, the uh, clear coat, the top coat as it were, on. It looks like the weather is going to cooperate. It's been raining most of the morning. Now, last time we wet sanded the primer, if you'd like to see that, watch this video right here and you'll see the whole process. It was pretty easy and pretty quick. Smooth sweeping strokes with the paint today, just like we did with the primer. Light coats, we'll use the whole can. And uh, just in case. So, a quick word about these uh, Duplicolor um, nozzles um, that they're pretty proud of. Underneath this little plastic tab where you press down, there's a pin. And you'll recall when we did the primer, the can was defective. Uh, the pin would not engage the valve, and um, I never could get it to spray. This is actually a fairly common problem from what I understand. I did some research, and it turns out that their quality control on the length of these pins is not great. Uh, and I've, I heard one guy say he bought 10 cans. He was working on a car but 10 cans and of the 10, three of them, the pins were too short. What he did was something I should have tried. He actually took a piece of uh, reasonably thick gauged metal, you know, probably about the thick thickness of a penny um, and then rigged up a deal to put in between the pin and this plastic thing to give the extra length. And he says it worked pretty well. I think you could probably use a coin um, something that's going to stay in there. So if that happens, heaven forbid, with this color can, this is our color, um, then we're going to try that because um, I really don't want to have to go through that again. All right, and then lots and lots of thin coats. I'm going to use the whole can, like I said, lots and lots of thin coats. When the last one dries, which will be at least 30 minutes because it's a little bit humid out here, um, not too humid, but a little bit humid. After the last coat dries, we'll go ahead and put on the uh, matte clear coat. So without further ado, let's head up the hill to the paint booth. Okay, so here we are. We're going to put our respirator on and goggles and gloves, and we're gonna get started. Same sweeping motion. Here we go. This eye thing is mainly to protect my sunglasses from getting blue paint all over them. Um, not comfortable at all, but all right, we've shaken this paint as it says for 60 seconds after the ball is loose it's also been outside so the paint is warm which they say is a good thing to do Thanks for working. <laughs> All right, let's get some on the front now. Looks really good so far. The 
paint's covering great. This nozzle, when it works, is amazing. The spray is very fine. The, uh, the blade of the spray really is easy to control. So I'm thankful this one works. Okay, now I'm gonna wait just a few minutes, let this set up a little bit because I'm gonna have to handle the guitar to move it into a better uh, position to paint the inside of the hooks and the bottom. Alright, so same kind of deal here. We're going to be using this wheel clear coat. It's matte and um, I think it'll look really nice with the blue pearl. Um, it's currently drying. You can see it up there. Uh, there's a nice nice breeze wafting and uh, so we'll get back up there in a second and apply this after I shake it as directed. Well, while we're waiting for it to dry, um, I want to remind you if you want to write me, I'll send you some stickers and pics. Uh, just send me an email and uh, give me your address. I sent out a bunch the other day. I'm happy to do it. Um, hope you enjoy them and um, share them with your friends. About five minutes to go and we'll get this clear coat on. It's uh, this uh, Duplicolor. I'm hoping this nozzle works as well as the color one did. Except if I spray it that way, I'm going to spray it on my finger. Actually, there we go. Red toward the target. That's the level of genius you're dealing with here. All right, first pair of gloves, here we go. We'll turn the nozzle now, so I can spray the sides to create the pattern. I say we're done now I'm gonna read because I think there's some sanding that needs to be done on top of the clear coat but I'm not sure about that so I'm gonna do a little reading but if all goes as planned we should be ready to start working on the electronics next time on guitar foster parent so there you go my first finished guitar and I think I've sprayed everything I'm gonna spray on it so we'll see how it turns out. I will tell you, it looks pretty good. I can see some things, you know, that aren't perfect, but um, you know, it's a do-it-yourself job. This thing will make music though, I promise you. And so that's what we're all about here. Every guitar deserves to be played. I'm done, it's hot. I'm gonna go inside and uh, start planning on uh, showing you the electronics we got. We got a really nice new humbucker um, for this guitar and we got a new pick guard. I'm going to show you all that next time on Guitar Foster Parent. And if you want to follow along and uh, see how we got this far, check out this one right here. Pretty interesting stuff. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.